just a quick update. Today is Saturday, November 14th. Um, I decided to sit out here on the Alpha Alpha plot again. I'm doing a solo hunt this morning, and man, the action's been awesome already. Uh, I've already seen two bucks, one of them pretty nice, and they're just busting back and cross, back and forth across the alfalfa field, chasing doe, and then I got a sweet, uh, sweet video of fawn just cooking it up the tree row right at me, and I think I got it focused in good, so, um, basically right now they've all been on the far side of the alfalfa field, the bucks stopped out there a couple times, but way out of bow range, about 150 yards or so, so. If nothing else, it's been awesome to watch, and let's hope they get a little closer as the morning progresses. Just a quick update. I just had an encounter with a really, really big deer. Uh, his, he's about 140 yards when I ranged him, just under. Um, his left side appeared to be either busted or messed up or something, but my goodness, the, his right side tines were tall and wide. Man, it was a good, it was a good experience and a good, I'm just glad to see it. So he's obviously not one we're gonna shoot this year but man, I'm glad to see he's around and I, I hope nobody else decides to take him either so he, next year he'd be humongous. So hope the activity continues. After an awesome morning in the woods, we came in, we actually went to the locker to pick up the dough meat from a couple weekends back, and it is now time to head back to the timber. Josh just got here from Emporia, and we are excited. 
The wind is blistering from the south at about 20 miles an hour and it's in the mid 50s. But the deer movement was amazing this morning and we're hopeful that it continues throughout the afternoon into the early evening. Stay tuned to see what we find. The deer had been vocal all day, and so I decided to lay on the grunt call for a few seconds in a dead period of the afternoon. Within the next 30 seconds, this young buck had heard me, and he came busting it straight towards my stand. I got the camera on him, and I lost him behind a tree, so you'll hear I bumped the grunt call just a couple more times. And then here in just a couple seconds, he busted under that log, and he is looking for some action. And I didn't get the whole thing on camera, but this was such a cool experience. He reacted so good uh, to the grunt series. I basically tried to imitate exactly what I had heard another young buck do just about 30 minutes prior to this. And what can I say? It worked out well. All right, guys, well, it was a good day today. Um, I was able to harvest this young guy. He, uh, he came up on me so quick, I couldn't even get anything on film. Um, I, I'll put on the video, you'll be able to see there was a whole bunch of does out by the feeder, and he comes literally right under that tree stand, and he came out and around, and I was able to tag him um, just on the other side of the feeder, and he was a quick recovery. So we're always thankful for that, and uh, it was definitely a fun one to get. I, I really wish I would have been able to record it, but he came up so quick. Um, so we hope you guys liked at least seeing some buck action coming from the Happy Hunts channel. Um, hopefully Clayton can get one, and we'll do better about getting it on video. But you know how it is when them jitters hit you.